that we start back. Hope someone's listening out and checking us out over there on, uh, on live, on Facebook Live, as well as we are here recording for Instagram and YouTube as well. So, here we go. So, just um, on this second point, now that we've started back on the second area, uh, just as she was sharing with you, if you put the word free, so a lot of people don't, for the ones who don't understand what sovereign mean, just put the word free in the place of sovereign. The word free. Now, imagine being free, driving down, traveling down the road with no thought of being harassed by the policy officers. Don't forget, the officers are really policy for the system for commercial uh, entities, you know. Commercial entities is what the, uh, the officers are here for. The, as Russell will be sharing a little later on about the Sharif, the sheriff, they're the ones who actually have the power to, uh, to, uh, to arrest, you know. But um, I'm going to let Russell handle that a little bit later. But uh, otherwise, I'm just sharing the information or I would like to share more information on prophecy and the reason why we're where we are today. And uh, I'm not going to be too long with it. Uh, if you go to some of the other indexing classes that we've shared so far, uh, in quotation, think about quotation, indexing classes on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. Go to in, in quotation, indexing classes. Also go to first 1ST indexing class, quotation, same as second indexing class, all quotations, as well as third indexing class. You'll see more information that we have shared in time past. One of them, um, one that I share and I always put in all the information, look up uh, Global Class Lawsuit. This is where you get the total understanding of Dr. Henderson suing the Vatican, the Pope, the United States, as well as I will always have to put in there the Queen of England. And I'm always going to put the Queen of England in there to give y'all a, a, a clue. Uh, that's a clue for me to share with you what's coming. Something about to come that I'm about to share. So I want you to understand the reason why I say also the Queen of England. You know. So now, as I was just sharing with you, Dr. Henderson sued sued those. Uh, in a class action lawsuit, which is what I'm sharing with you, um, that's the one in the second indexing class we actually played it so everyone can hear it, but it's actually in the post. All you gotta do is hit the clip, it's in the post, you'll hear the whole concept of what he has done, where we at today, and what's going on according to prophecy. So, now by sharing that, according to prophecy, uh, if you know your Bible, know your, if you understand the Bible, according to not religious terms, according to prophecy. Prophecy is a whole different aspect compared to what the Greek or Romans, or shall I say the Council of Nicaea, gave you through what they have added to the book, starting from Matthew throughout the book. A lot of truth is there, but it's a lot of stuff that was added a lot of people don't know. So we're going to go into that. You have to do your own research as well as some of the things I have shared in time past on Facebook, Instagram, and as well as on YouTube. You know, so you can check the information out. A lot of stuff has been added that we don't know, that we don't understand, but we have to understand this was prophesied as well. That we will come into a land and serve other gods, wood and stone, gods our fathers haven't known. That was prophecy as well. Why? Because we were disobedient to the law. And the reason why all this is happening, the position we're in today, a part of prophecy, according to our disobedience to the law to be where we are today. And I got to share with you, the law was here from the beginning, from day one. Day one, Genesis 1 through 5, that's where the, the father, I say the father, some people say God, I don't want to put it, he separated light from darkness, good from evil. He separated that in the first day. He didn't start creating until the second day. So when he saw and he started moving upon the waters in the mind of the Father, I'm going to say, he moved upon the people. We are waters. He's seen everything from the beginning to the end. 
but he also gave you clues to follow throughout the law between Genesis and Deuteronomy. He gave you clues to follow what to do, what you should do and should not do. Now, one of the things that, um, that Joanne was sharing with you a few moments ago about the men, the system is totally against the men. Am I right about that? Can I get some amen or not no amen, but am I right about that? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. See, the reason why the system is against the men is because we are of the Father. The Father, when, when he made, we say Adam, I'm just going to go by according to the story. Now, I don't want to get into he say, she say, this and that. I'm just going to go according to the story. Okay? We'll just go with that. We'll leave it at that. Now, he gave man, man, dominion over the earth. We have, we have dominion over the earth. By having that dominion, he gave us the information. We the one who named all things here on the earth until we got to help meet. And when we got to help meet, you know, everything was supposed to go to a certain thing until certain things happen. Not putting blame that happened then with where we are today and everything is happening according to a certain time. But in Genesis chapter 3, verse, I'm just going to say verse 16, 15, 16, and 17, when, he, when, when the father said, uh, he shall bruise your head and uh, thou shall bruise his heel, I will always say that was that was referring to Esau and Jacob. That was referring to Esau and Jacob, which you will find in uh, Genesis chapter 27 when Isaac gave the blessing to, think he was giving it to Esau, but it was already it was already told and promised to the younger son, which is Israel, or shall I say Jacob, whose name was changed to Israel. And then when Esau got his blessing, in Genesis 27, I think the um, Jacob got his blessing 28 and 29, and Esau got his blessing uh, 39 and 40. So don't quote me on that. No, I'm giving it to you from the dome now. All you gotta do is look into the chapters and check it out for yourself. So when he did when he did that, this is where we are today in this day and time. Or should I say, we're coming out of Esau's reign now, which is over the earth. The hey, he had the domain over the earth. Now he's coming out because in Revelation chapter 12, you will see where it says, one that uh, that rule with an iron rod. That rod was the pen. That pen, everything is up pen and paper in this day and time. Everything. The piece of, uh, 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 the treaty of uh, uh, peace and friendship. Am I saying that right? Right. Of uh, peace and friendship. Everything is done by pen and paper. Everything. So this is how he will rule with an iron rod, which is an iron pen that actually writes and, and uh, actually is going to take you out. Same thing is going to take you out of the system. The system is holding us by birth certificate, social security card, and ID card. The same thing that's gonna that put you in the system will be the same thing that'll get you out. Now to share with you according to the law, as I was saying earlier about us as men, are hated by the system. The system, if you think about it, is the one, or shall I say the serpent, is the one that got to Eve. Going through Eve is how, going through Eve is how he got to the man. So now that he's in dominion, in, uh, in, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm paraphrasing as, I, as I'm going to give you a better understanding. If you look in Exodus chapter 21, verse, I say verse 1 through 6, I'm giving you off my head. Exodus 21, verse 1 through 6, it talks about marriage. Man is talking about a man that gives himself as a servant. When he gives himself over to servant, he shall serve another, quote-unquote, Hebrew brother for six years. Six or seven years. And after he should come out, uh, I don't say we bring something, but afterwards he should come out, and I believe he's spoken to care of when he leaves. So when this has happened, when this happened, what it said in that chapter, or I say through those verses, it said, if that man go in as a, um, as a poor man, or should I say as a free man, he going and he's going to work for him those many years. As he worked for them those many years, 
When he leaves, you're going to leave just as he came. Now, if the master gives him a wife, when he leaves, the wife and the children will stay with that master. He's still going out the way he came in. This is a point I want you to understand where we at today and about the system and why women are favored in the system all the way around. I'm trying to give you understanding right now. According to the law, once you start to read the law, you can really see and understand where we stand today, where we are in the law, and how we're supposed to conduct ourselves. So as it goes through to say that in those six verses, I would say, as it goes through to say that, it says that if a man comes with a wife, him, his wife, and his children can leave together. A free man come with a wife. Him and his wife can leave together. But if he comes to the master, a free man coming there, and the master gives him a, a, a wife, he must leave without that wife. Think about what's going on in the world today. These, the women is owned by the system. Child support, alimony, uh, what else? What else? The benefits that the women get from the system, according from the man. You know what I'm saying? They're, they're draining the man because number one, the man isn't man isn't in his in, in his uh, sovereign capacity to be free to stand up. This is the reason why the Moors know their information. But don't forget, majority of the people is still connected in that system by birth certificate. Social Security card and ID card. So you're, you're a chattel slavery. You're chattel slavery to the system. You know what I'm saying? You're chattel slavery not realizing. It. So everyone that calls themselves that, that they're under the UCCs, uh, the 501c3, you are still chattel slavery no matter what you do or try to do or try to come out of. Like I'm just sharing with Russell on our way here. A lot of you, a lot of us that are, are spiritually led, we're being protected by the Father. That's spiritually led. A lot of us, or a lot of our people, shall I say, that knew the information is sitting in jail today. Why? Because they're still under that system. And this is the key. That system is of the 501c3 and the UCC. Dr. Henderson is the ad hoc world jury, ad hoc world court judge. He's actually over and outside of that system now. And this is what I've been trying to share with you all the time. By being over and outside that system, that's like being in these four walls. It's just, let's just say the system is the prison, like they would say the prison planet. So when you come out from the 501c3 and the UCCs into the 501c4, uh, Glo uh, world Global, not World Global Reset, I'm trying to say it all together, but uh, in, in the Global Trust, that's what I'm trying to say. Once you're in that Global Trust, you're outside of that system. Now you are a sovereign, free being. This is prophecy happening today. And this is where we're growing in this day and time. See where we at? I'm going to pause this real quick.